Hi everybody, it's Kaylin. Welcome back. Today I'm really excited to welcome not only all of you, but especially the students of the bunch to today's video, which is going to be a bunch of my essential student spreads that I like to set up at the beginning of a semester. I hope if you're watching this, these spreads give you some quick and simple ideas for how to get ready for the upcoming semester and I hope they make you feel more prepared and at ease for the upcoming school semester, year, whatever it is. I hope this video helps. So I'm gonna be first starting with what I like to call my master syllabus spread. For every class in my undergrad, I would always get a syllabi or a syllabus. I think syllabi is the plural version. And that was great, but I always liked having a space where I could see all of my assignments together for all of my classes. So this is what that spread does for me. This is for four classes since that's kind of what I have right now. Well, I did have, I just graduated my master's so I don't have classes anymore, but for each class, I'm gonna be using a bit of a different layout to track all my assignments. Essentially for each class, I have a table and on the left-hand side, it's an Alistair Method monthly list. So this is used to mark the month the assignment is due or if it's a weekly reoccurring assignment. Then I use the middle column to write the title of the assignment, and if it has a date specifically when it's due, I write that down as well. On the right-hand column, I like to write down the weight of the assignment so I can get an idea of what ones are a little bigger that I wanna keep my eye on. So now I'm going to be filling in one of the tables to give you an idea of how this looks. For the course, I'm noting the title and then when the course happens every week right below. This guy was one of my favorite courses in my undergrad. It was all about mafia studies and organized crime and it was just such a cool course. So for this course, I'm writing down all the assignments in the table. So now that I've written it down, I'll just explain again how this table works. So for example, for my midterm, it's due in October, so I put my signifier under the O, which is the October column. I write the amount it's worth in the right-hand column, which is 20%, and then right beside the title, midterm, I'm writing 20th, and that's because the midterm falls on October 20th. So I note the month in the left column and then the specific day it's due in the right, since not all my assignments have specific days due, like reading responses are probably due every Friday of every week. So just knowing that they're due weekly is all the information I need. And that is how one table would look completely filled in. The next spread that I'm setting up would also go along with the first one I made at the beginning of the semester, and this is what I like to call my semester at a glance. I really like making this in addition to my master syllabus because I find that I really like getting an idea of what all my course assignments are, but more than that, I like to get a very high level overview of where all my assignments fall in respect to one another. I find this is really, really helpful, especially if you're juggling multiple courses, because you can see when you have busier weeks, so that kind of awareness can allow you to be a bit better with your time management, and I found when I know I have a busier week, I can kind of start to plan ahead and figure out when I need to start things early, 
so I'm not working on 15 different assignments at the same time and just getting really stressed out. So for this spread, I'm dividing the page into two, so I have two months per page, and I'm making a vertical calendar for each month. So essentially, I'm writing the date of the month all the way down the left-hand side. Right beside each date, I would write down the assignments I have due, and if I have more than one due on one day, I would just write an abbreviation. I also really like dividing up the week numbers because I find this is just a good way to kind of structure the spread more. I'm also going in and adding a bit of collaging in the bottom right corner, and I strategically chose this spot because my semesters end around the third week of December, so I knew I wouldn't have any assignments in the last two weeks, so I figured why not add a bit of decoration there, and then it's not taking away from important space where I need to write my assignments down. Master syllabus and the semester at a glance are the two spreads that I really like to make at the beginning of each semester because I find they have a lot of impact for what they are and I also just don't like making a ton of spreads so those are kind of my two essentials that I find get the job done. But I thought I'd also show you how I get organized in the month with all of the due dates that college can bring. So here is my month at a glance due date spread. A quick disclaimer, I like to plan digitally and with my journal, so this is only going to be a calendar for due dates. When I have any events happening, I like to record that in my calendar. So things like my class times, those are going in my iCal, and I really like that because then I can get a really good overview of when I have time in the day to do my work. However, even with digital tools, I like to write down my due date separately because I just find it helps me stay more organized. So for this spread, I'm going to be making a one-page calendar on the right, and this is going to act similarly to the semester overview and provide an overview of where the assignments fall in comparison to one another. Then on the right-hand page, I am stamping out the month and in a list form, writing out all the assignments I have due in that month, as well as the day they're due. I don't mind keeping this area a bit chaotic, so I just kind of list them out, but if you want to have a bit more structure, you can divide this page up by class, or you can divide it up by week, so you can get a bit more of an organized overview. But uh, yeah, I like my journal to be a little chaotic, so I just kind of list things out, and that works for me. I'm also leaving a space beside each date where I can check off the assignment once I've completed it. This is probably my favorite part of this spread because I really like seeing the progress over the month and seeing all the assignments that I've done and kind of seeing the progress I've made really helps boost morale, especially when I have a really busy month. Now this is the best part. I'm going in and based on the days my assignments are due on the right, I'm going in and drawing a pencil cross through the days that I have things due. I really like this because, like the semester overview, it allows me to see kind of where my month is at, what's busy, what week, and what isn't so busy what week, so I can plan ahead. But also, I love using pencil because if a due date inevitably changes, which I found in my university experience happens all the time, I'm able to just erase the pencil line and redraw it on the new date, which is great because then my calendar is always accurate and actually reflects what I have going on in the month. And those are the three spreads that I like to set up at the beginning of a semester as well as every month of the semester. 
and while I'm not going back to school this fall, I actually graduated in July for my master's degree. I want to wish you all a good luck and good vibes into your school year. I hope it's a good one and I hope that this gave you some ideas so you're feeling a little more calm, relaxed, cool and collected going into the semester because I know there's a lot going on for a lot of people and it can be kind of crazy and hopefully this helps you a little bit. And besides that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I always love chilling with you guys and I will see you all in the next video. Happy studying! Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My home